Uh, so I'm Greg Storer from Tonkin Liu Architects and I'm with Alex Peacock, also from Tonkin Liu Architects. And I'm Mervyn Rodriguez from Rodriguez Associates, Instructional Engineer. The project um, is, uh, I guess you could describe it as a kind of radical retrofit. We've taken an old um, disused agricultural shed and converted it into a kind of contemporary three bedroom home. Um, so a lot of the project was about kind of um, reuse, but also about creating a new sustainable, comfortable house, but also that kind of, it was a little bit, gave some nods back to its kind of agricultural heritage. Um, so kind of a key part of that was the use of um, various materials that often are prevalent in that kind of vernacular. So we've got galvanized steel, um, not just for its kind of aesthetic qualities in terms of uh, agricultural buildings, but also for its kind of robustness. Um, and there was an existing steel frame uh, as part of the original building, which we extended. Um, and then we reclad the whole um, envelope with uh, shot blasted larch, which is complemented with this kind of galvanized steel fin system. Um, and that, uh, the kind of idea for that came from this ambition for the building to kind of echo the sort of the rhythmic kind of pattern of the barcher birch trees, which kind of surrounds the site. Uh, it's kind of silver birch, very beautiful um, kind of patination, which we kind of look to the galvanized steel to kind of uh, mimic and kind of speak of. With the galvanized fins, it was trying to make everything look um, very similar, but doing often doing quite quite radically different things. So some of the fins were just there themselves. Um, but others were supporting the canopy, um, which was really pushed to its limits in terms of its um, uh, buckling resistance and its, um, and, and its capacity to um, uh, be, um, deal with uh, loads, wind loads and snow loads. One of the things I guess that we really liked about uh, the kind of galvanised steel was that we wanted a lot of the building to be kind of very honest in terms of its kind of material language. and. Um, often with steel work you kind of clad it or you kind of cover it in some way and it felt appropriate with this kind of brief and this kind of agricultural heritage that we let the kind of galvanised steel be what it wanted to be, which was this kind of itself. In terms of like, I guess the, the kind of architectural ambition of the whole project, I mean it's in this kind of very beautiful rural site and so um, we wanted to really kind of bring the landscape in, kind of pull the landscape into the house and that kind of slightly ties into kind of our ambitions as a kind of design studio, as an architecture practice we kind of always look to kind of embrace nature and so sometimes we do that kind of quite directly like in this case by opening up views and kind of pulling the landscape in, sometimes we use kind of um, so the geometries that we learn from nature to kind of do more kind of advanced things with the kind of structure but here it was all about being very simple and that's where the kind of material language comes in so formally it's kind of um, it's very kind of considered and, and, and straightforward but that allows the kind of materials to come through so as well as kind of creating these large openings these glazed openings in the building which kind of pulled the landscape in we then also literally wanted to pull the fabric of the building in too so as soon as we had the kind of galvanized steel, steel exoskeleton around the outside we thought it kind of appropriate that the internal elements too were built in galvanized steel so as you kind of walk through the space there's kind of not necessarily a clear delineation between what's outside and what's inside